Hey everyone, welcome back to 40 Plus Life. Thank you once again for joining me. In this video, I am going to go over my May budget of 2021. Um, and we're just gonna go get right into it. So let's see, I think I will use this pen. So basically what I do on this front page is I just write in some little mini goals that I wanna do for the month. So, first of all, I want to pay down half of Chevron credit card. That is my smallest one right now, and I probably could just pay it off, but eh, until I see how everything goes, I really don't like to push it because I also like to have a cushion for the following month. Um, let's see. Add more to emergency fund. have 15 no spend days work out three to four days per week debt payoff plan okay so I think I will just go with that for right now okay and then the next thing I like to put underneath I should get my ruler here hopefully I don't knock something down just to kind of Change it up a bit. Whoops. Okay. So then here I just like to get a bird's eye view of my debt. So debt totals and as always this does not include my mortgage. Okay, to just go over this really quick. So this is from lowest to highest up to this point. So PayPal is only $125 left. The reason why I have not paid this off first is because it is zero interest as long as I make the, the minimum. So I'd rather focus on paying more on other stuff first and then just pay the minimum on this one because then there's no interest. And then my car, I'm keeping it keeping it separate from that. Um, and then my mom, um, I just pay her $100 a month. It just automatically goes to her bank account. And once all this is done, then I will pay her. Um, you know, my mom would probably be totally fine with just whatever, but I wanna pay her back. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, now moving on. Oh, before I move on, I forgot I needed to add this up. So let me just do that really quick. Okay, so my total is 53,117 and 29 cents. So last month I paid, or 
I should, I should say for April because we're still in April. I did um, pay off my Walker credit card, hallelujah. And my previous total was 55,519 and 17 cents. So let's just see what that is. 55519.17 minus 53117.29. So I paid a total of $2,401.88 last month. Ah, and that feels great. Obviously, I won't be able to do that again. <laughs> that was all thanks to um, my uh, tax refund. But who cares? That was great. So there we go. So now we can move on because now I'm very happy to see this slowly but surely go down and hopefully soon will be under the 50,000 mark. All right, next up I have my, uh, whatchamacallit, my calendar for May. So I am just now going to go through all my different stuff. So let's see, my paydays I will do first. I get paid bi-weekly. So, my last one was on the 30th, so my next one will be on May 13th. And then the one after that will be on May 27th. Okay, and let me just write this here really quick. Let's see. And doo, doo, doo. also, I'm not sure because it lands on a weekday, but it is a transfer to my account. So my, I also get my rental income from my tenants. Um, okay. Now I'm going to go through my different payments. So first and foremost, the most important ones are my mortgage and my rent. Okay, that's on the first. And then on the second, I have, ooh, I used to have Walker Furniture on the second. Now I just have cell phones. So Verizon. And then the third is Wells Fargo, CC, and NV Energy. Okay, I'm just going to go through and do this really quick so you don't have to watch me just write down all my bills. Okay, so that was, I just put in all the bills and stuff. So let me just do the highlighting now really quick. Do I have this in here? I do. So income is this and my paydays. And then bills slash debt always gets pink because that's as close to red as it's going to be. <laughs> okay. Appointments will be purple. Holidays. And events. Okay, so now I gotta see what's coming up in May that I need to worry about. Yes, important things here. 
May 5th is now my surgery date. And I have to get a COVID test the week before again. And because I just got my second vaccine, if I get tested positive again and my surgery gets postponed, I swear I'm going to scream. So yeah, so there's that. So that's my surgery, and then this whole week here through Sunday is my recovery. So I will be off from work here as well. Yes, very important dates, my pets. They're all born in May. They're all boys, all born in May. Very crazy. He is gonna be 17. And then Chester's B day. He is going to be four. Always B day. He is going to be 14. And then Nugget. Nugget. B day he's gonna be five crazy okay let's see do I have anything else coming up this month that I'm aware of I don't think so I know I'm off work this day because it's Memorial Day so I'll just mark that and we'll go ahead I guess I'll highlight that because I'm off because it's a holiday. And these are events. Molly, Chester, Nugget. And then appointments is my lovely surgery. And I think that's all I've got right now. I'm sure there's other things I'm missing. There's other little tiny things that are gonna come out and I probably should start adding them to this. But I do have a spreadsheet that I keep on my computer, um, which I may go over someday, because um, it's it has probably more in depth, it has everything listed on there. So that's how I, I keep track of things on there and in here, so. So yeah, so I might just go over that someday. But for now, this is the calendar, everything that I think can think of for the moment, and let's move on. Okay, and so now, this is the big main thing that I'm gonna go over. It is my um, actual budget now for the entire month. And I already started having, I already have it laid out right now. Yes, both pages. And then I will go over this first and then the rest I will just kind of fill in and then go over so it's not gonna be so long. If you prefer me to go over it and have this be a super long video, let me know. But that just seems really long. <laughs> okay. So I will zoom in here so we can at least, whoops, oh, where am I? Here we are. Okay. So I always budget, um, I only work four days a week, so I just budget the bare minimum. And also another thing that I keep forgetting to mention, I don't put cents, I round everything up. Um, because I just like to keep it that way. So two paychecks, there's that. My rental property is always the same. Okay, and then Aki is my daughter who I pay the bills and she gives me the money for it. And that can change every month. Um, and I'm just gonna do the bare minimum. And miscellaneous is if I, 
I don't budget for it, but it's anything, um, any other payments I get. Sometimes I just get money somehow. <laughs> Either someone pays me something that was owed from before and I forgot about, or um, any kind of online gig that I do. Um, once in a while I'll do, um, or if there's any side hustles or whatever, once in a while I'll do, I haven't, I used to do DoorDash, like I tried it out a couple times and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, but I only did it like two times. So I was thinking that I might start doing it again just to get some extra income and to go towards debt. So we shall see. So I don't budget anything for miscellaneous. My rollover, um, oh, I expected more this month, but it's $300 less because of the stupid health insurance thing. I had to pay extra $300 that I wasn't happy about. So usually I would budget about 700, but now I'm gonna really lowball it and go 300. Unfortunately, just in case. And so now I'm gonna total that, so 850. 850, 3050, 3050, plus 3500, which leaves me 5,485 for the month. Okay, which is sadly less than I would like, but what are you gonna do? All right, so the rest of it now, I'm gonna just speed through it. And again, if you prefer me to slow it down and go over it, let me know. Otherwise, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the first time that's ever happened. Apparently, I am either way off <laughs> or I have no idea. But apparently, based off of my budget here, I am not even going to have enough to make anything. So, that kind of sucks. Um... So, as of right now, I'm not even going to add to anything else because I have no idea what's going on now. That is kind of scary. Um, and I'm a little confused. Especially since I have things that were taken out and I did not even add more to my chevron card so i'm gonna have to just see what happens see how i end up at the end of this month oh oh my gosh <laughs> i am so stupid you ugh. so my roll over here <sighs> only 300 because i did not even i still have one more check coming in april and I already paid, all my stuff for April, April is already paid. And I totally forgot to add that into this. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so stupid. Wow. Oh, but now I feel so much better because I was like, oh my God, what is going on? 
Ah, okay. Wow, I was about to freak out. Okay, so I am going to speed through this and fix this really quick. And let's get back to it. Whew. Okay, oh my gosh, that was really scary. I cannot believe I did that. So, so there we go. That is more like it. Um, okay, so let's move on then with the sinking funds. Oh goodness, I still can't believe that. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna do as much just because I don't know. This is this is just a budget anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that is what I have for right now. This is still, um, this is way lower than what I normally have things at because I do like to have a pretty good buffer going into the following month. So some of this might change in terms of my sinking funds. Um, I definitely want to put to the most important things though. Um, more the sinking funds and the cash envelopes except for like the stuff that I have to spend for myself because I have to be able to, you know, live a little bit as well. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so this is filmed later. So this is... Um, I'm going back to this because after my little fiasco, there was one other thing that I forgot. So my first paycheck of each month, I do get a little bit more because um, my boss gives me extra to help with my health insurance. So I totally forgot about that. I don't have no idea why. this. Ha I've been doing this for so long now. I don't know why I forget. So I already went and adjusted all my numbers. So these will be different than what you've seen. So this is now the total. Um, and then gone down to this. So it's in, basically, it's about $300 more than what it was. So when I got to here, it was what, four, five ninety nine, dollars I believe? Because I said 300 right? So I didn't change any of these. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I just wanted to update the balance numbers because that is not cool. <laughs> so right now, this is my balance. Instead of 159, it is now 459, which is way better. Um, usually I'm in the $700 range, but because I had to pay that extra. 300 to health insurance, bleh, that's why we're at this number. But that's okay, this is way better than the 159, so I'm happy that I finally remembered that that's what that that's what that was. So I just wanted to throw this in there really quick before continuing on. So now we're all up to date properly. <laughs> so I have this separate page for sinking funds um, that I'm doing as well, split into the two paychecks. But I think I'm gonna wait on this right now just to see how things go. Um, so I mentioned, oh, I might start doing the DoorDash again. Well, I think I might actually because 
I'm not used to being a little uncomfortable. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now with this. So, so we'll see. I might start doing that um, just to get some extra money in. And then I will, later on, I will go through this for each check. See how that goes. Okay, and then, um, then sometime in the mid-month, I will do a sinking funds check-in just to add up everything in my envelopes and see where we're at. Um, this is just a, let me zoom out a little. This is a, a little um, sheet that I created. And yeah, so there we go. I think that's it. Um, this debt, debt payoff tracker, I'm gonna go over later. Um, I'm gonna do this really quick because I forgot to do this in the last video. So it's my, um, the mini envelope savings challenge. I saved $5 for this week. So I'm gonna color this in really quickly. And then add in five dollars. So there we go. For a total of nineteen. All right. So now I feel better because I didn't want to forget doing that. <laughs> okay. And on that note, I think I am done. <sighs> I am done. Um, feeling like I, <laughs> I was like almost messed up. That was scary. So yeah, so that's the one thing about the three checks in a month. Yeah, I totally forgot about it. So whew, thank goodness there. So now let's just move on. I feel better. I've got my budget for May going on and we will see what happens. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do comment. Um, I you know, appreciate any, anything you have to offer. I'd love to, uh, you know, get to know you and meet more people in this community. And yeah, so there we go. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.